Hi there, my name's Lucy McDonald, physiotherapist. Welcome back to my virtual clinic. Today, I'm gonna to answer the question, if running hurts, should I stop? But before I do, I want to just let you know how you can get in touch with me or my team for virtual consultations or face-to-face -face consultations in London. If you go to the website, www.octopusclinic, you will find all our contact details there and you'll also find loads of videos and advice on how to prevent injuries and how to manage them if you do get injured. So on to the question, should you stop running if it hurts? Now, you might think that the most obvious answer to that question is yes. However, there are exceptions to that rule. Now, running is, or increasing any kind of training, whether it's running or other forms of training, is a really nice way to get fitter and stronger. But in order to do so, you have to actually create a little bit of micro trauma to the tissue. So the way that you get fitter and stronger is by creating some micro trauma, and then your body responds by creating more cells in, in place of the damaged cells. So more cells, bigger cells, and ultimately more resilient tissues, stronger muscles, a fitter heart and lungs. So that process of microtrauma is actually uncomfortable. You're actually creating some damage. So your body, your brain responds by feeling a little bit of discomfort. So it is normal in the process of building up running training. It is normal to feel discomfort. And as long as you have uh, periods of time where you're able to fully recover. So often it can take at least 72 hours for that, that inflammatory response to take place, or that initial healing process to take place. As long as you've got time to recover and the other ingredients in place like nutrition and sleep that I've talked about before, so please do go and check those things out. So as long as those are in place, you'll then find that your body recovers and you become stronger and stronger. So that's the first type of pain that is, is totally normal. So it's a very low level of pain. You're looking at about a sort of two or three out of 10 um, and it should subside um, over uh, two to three days. The second type of pain is if you are uh, running and recovering from an injury that involves where loading is a good thing. OK, so I'll give you an example. Some tendon injuries uh, respond, well, all tendon injuries respond well to load. So if you are um, returning to running under the guidance of a physiotherapist, osteopath or other healthcare professional, then they may well, and I would certainly recommend, that you uh, return to running in a steady incremental way that um, involves a low level of pain. So more like a sort of three or four out of 10 pain and then for sort of that lasts about three or four hours after. Now, I would only advise that you do that under the guidance of a physiotherapist or osteopath because obviously it's very difficult for you to know otherwise whether you're going to overdo it. And there are certain uh, uh, there are certain injuries that if you run on them, uh, even if it's a low level of pain, you're going to make them worse. The most obvious one being stress fractures or another more rare um, uh, injury called a compartment syndrome or um, a DVT. So any of those um, uh, injuries that will be diagnosed very um, readily by a physiotherapist or other healthcare professional, um, you must not run on them at all. So sort of coming back to that initial question, if you are in pain, should you should you run? And, and really, if your pain is, is more than a sort of two or three out of 10 and it isn't resolving fully um, over a couple of days, you absolutely need to get um, that pain uh, assessed and checked out. Um, but uh, there is fundamentally such a thing as good pain, but it's a healthcare professional like a physio that can work out the difference for you. I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you want to get in touch again, the best email address is reception at octopusclinic.com. It'll be an absolute pleasure uh, to see you uh, for a video consultation or if you happen to live in London for a face-to-face -face consultation. And um, in the meantime, do let me know uh, if there's anything you want me to do a video on. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and come and join us on our social media outlets. So on um, Facebook, we've got a, a fabulous uh, Facebook running group and Facebook page, uh, Instagram. It's etc. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!